Baby. What's up, people? Hello. How are you? You didn't even say, "Ah, Daddy, how are you?" I'm back from the school. Fire, fire, fire! But did you say? Ah, go ahead. I will say it now. How was school today? In car, what's up? So why did you call me since? We don't blow, my bro. How are you doing, Lanley? I see you, Tito. I see you. You are tired. Hey, so what's going on? I'm sorry, you. I was on. I was. We were talking before. My son now called me, Asha. Okay, baby. It was disturbing me, but now I think I can today? talk. So, like I was saying, before you even think, before you go on to say it's because doing? of your budget that you can't do stuff. I think we need okay. to first sit down. Do it's very simple. Okay, bye bye. Tipsy, I see you, my love. Tipsy, this tipsy, eh? This girl, she has my yeah, she, uh, yeah, she has my momo button. No? Mommy go go. On. So as I was saying, you need to first sit down and actually try as much as possible to list out everything you want to do. Then start to check what really matters from the one that don't matter. There are a lot of things that we as creative people we pay money for and we focus on. You understand? That they don't really matter. Let me give you an example. Peru is one of the biggest songs in Nigeria now. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Peru. Uh, is catching as a massive fire in America. Do you know that the video that you saw that, that you use it to push that song is actually a viral video. If your song is good, it's good. Sincerely. There was a time that a lot of people have been trying to put, push, uh, what, what is it called? That they've been trying to push this narrative that you have to spend so much. I'm not saying you don't spend money, but trust me, when we've been sound, in this when industry. Busy, when, the sound, when the sound is good, see, we've been doing music for years. I won't lie to you. I've seen people brought money to the music industry that they will smash millions, hundreds of millions, and nothing will happen. You know, go cash fire. Money is good, but when money meets good music, eh, it is great. Nowadays, you have to have a very good marketing budget, but please don't have a great marketing budget and your song is whack. Not just work in terms of that whether the song was well written or well recorded, but make sure that the song, eh, you yes, yeah, Gongo so blew with that <laughs> a huge video and all of that. Look at Gongo so album. First time missed it. Uh, this guy, that this my small boy here, that I actually trained. Let me show you guys again. Hey, Smolly, look at this place. I'm coming. You know this Smolly. That is my house boy. I'm a Hello. I'm a trainer. It's my boss. My boy, ah, it's your head, my boy. First time mixed that song, 2007-2008. See, you date, you play the song and you can still hear the vibe and all of that. All of those things, they matter. When you are doing your order of priority as an independent artist, please put it down. The ones that you know really, really matters. Focus on what matters. Don't focus on what does not matter. Do not focus on what does not matter. What does not a lot of things that you are going to spend money on, they don't matter. You that you have not yet gotten the song since you said you're going to buy a car and going to get a house in Lekki because you want to show. You put the show before the business. You are in trouble. Though. You are in trouble. Do the business. Sincerely, doing the business is not just about you knowing how to make money. In fact, the hardest part of the business is how to keep your money. And let me quickly talk about keeping your money. Keeping your money is not you saving your money in the bank. That is the biggest fraud of all time. We were all taught by our parents to save, save. They will tell you save 20%, save so-so amount percent. Ladies and gentlemen, savings eh, is a scam. And ask me why. Now you deal with the start done now. Oh, borrow no roof. 
Somebody said there is a there are mad song out there, but now money be the coco. Now you know say a mad song go. If the song good, eh? If it is that good, sincerely, and you have a proper budget to it, it will fly. But beyond budget or good, uh, good uh, song, let me tell you this one. You people might decide to disagree with me on this one. God, I'm telling you the favor of God. I know songs that are not so powerful that we are listening to today than are just God. <laughs> And I'm telling you, that one is stronger than even the quality of music. It's stronger than even my budget. So when I was talking the other time, I said, even when you have money, make sure you have good music. Don't just sit down there and you say you have good money, but you want to push music that is not making sense. No. You understand what I'm saying? have good budget draw out your order of priority what is priority for me i need to do a good song what's the next priority i need to have a good budget for my marketing how do i go about my marketing should i just be giving people money or should i go to radio should i go to tv a lot of people will push so much money in pushing stuff on terrestrial ground which is tv radio and all of those things i will see people push money to some radio stations that people used to listen to before but they don't longer they no longer listen to them be a businessman get data data that i'm saying that you should get is get the data of the most listened to radio stations in your vicinity what are people listening to on that particular radio station or on that particular uh, what is it called um uh, whether it's radio or TV, whatever. Get to know the data. There are some radio stations now that they will tell you that they have the highest numbers of listenership, but you will re re later discover that people actually refer to them more as regards news. There are stations that people listen more to music on. All of those are details that you will need to have so that the little money you want to use to push, you can definitely spend it very well. Then, Ladies and gentlemen, media is moving away from those traditional point of Media is now moving online. Look at what Nuru just said. Video with them, they use iPhone shoot these days. Say they go viral. I'm telling you, some viral videos are actually better than the actual videos. A lot of you, you are carrying iPhone 13, iPhone 14, uh, iPhone 12, iPhone 14. All of these things, you are carrying phones that can shoot 4k if you cannot afford a proper video that you'll be spending four five million for now i'm just saying you can also plan your song so that when you shoot a viral video it will tell the story that you are telling in the song play on people's emotion look at peru peru does no look at that video i'm sure i was talking to fireball recently and i was telling that he wants to still shoot a video for i said guy leave that video the way it is yes it's a viral video it has gone viral that they call it viral video doesn't mean that it has to be mediocre shoot it well with your phone <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs> see, see, see. call id i see you do you guys understand what i'm saying so shoot shoot it just shoot it with your video uh, with your phone and let's see what eventually happens don't let your i know you need money i'm not saying you don't need money you understand what i'm saying and i'm not saying that you don't need to also have a good budget to push all of this thing but i'm saying don't let your budget be the reason why you stop doing anything do you understand what i'm saying please you can do so much you can do so 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 very much when your mechanic is wrong, Karen. you can do so so very much don't let your budget be the reason why you are you stop doing stuff and there are things that i would have loved to see on this platform but because of the woke uh, uh because of the woke generation that we are in uh, I might not be able to say some of those things because if I tell you that, let me even see it. Let me see it. See, ladies and gentlemen, beyond who I have become, the most important thing for me is the person that owns me. Be if you ask me who I am, rather than tell you who I am, I will tell you whose I am. I serve God, though, and I've seen people 
fight this part that uh, there is no prayer, is no law. I'm not saying just go and sit down and be praying and not do the right thing. So, yes, pray. But look, a lot of times, me, I listen. It is in the process of listening that God will just tell me that this thing that you want to go and put four or five million around, do you know that you can actually do it this way? And I get to inspiration. You understand? Now, let me show you. Okay, Kimmy, you said sometimes when stupidity is more funded, it goes beyond expectation. Trust me, if you fund stupidity, it will not change it from being stupid. It can go viral, doesn't mean that it will be accepted. That something is popular, that something is going viral, doesn't mean that it will be accepted. That is one thing you need to get to know today. I think I've actually spoken on that so many times. So many times that you need to be careful of this mindset of, unfortunately, that is what actually is going on now. That I just want to, the only thing I want is to go viral. Eh? Do you understand what I said? All the name of I want to go viral. You just put one. The more ooh, look, you will only make yourself an influential fool. An influential foolish person. That is what you will make yourself. At the end of the day, when the shuffle comes to whatever they call it, they will ask what kind which kind of content the person gets. Ah, now this kind of content, you know they fly. Now, somebody said I should define good music the other time. It's relative. Oh. <laughs> It's very relative. It's relative on sound. It's relative on the kind of story you are telling. It's relative on the marketability of it. It's relative even on the commerciality of it. Good music is not because of your moral standard, though. Trust me, there are songs that they are very good music, but trust me, they have nothing to offer you morally or spiritually. And to a lot of other people, that's why I'm saying, uh, that's why that was why I said initially that it is very subjective to whosoever is defining it there are some songs that people will say this is not good music it's not good music but people will tell you what they actually like about it i'm telling you they will tell you something that is good about that particular thing so like now a lot of us will listen beyond the beat some of us listening to to vibes we listen to all of those things those are things that you as a as a as an upcoming artist you need to you need to pay attention to. Now, okay. Uh, Timo Classic said, ah, this is Tosin. What do we, what do, what do we do to, to, what do we do to coming up producer using money to chase artists away? Plenty of them out there. See, sincerely, Yes, no, I've answered about good music. I didn't listen. It's very subjective. It's very subjective. Very, very subjective. I won't lie to you. Even the music is music. All this issue of whether it's good or bad, me. <laughs> very subjective. If you play a pala to an Igbo man, you'll be looking at you that what sort of rubbish music is this. But play the same akpala to an Igbo man like me, it makes sense. So it's very subjective. But if you say sound, I can tell you what a good sound should have in terms of timber, in terms of clarity, in terms of tonality and all of those things. I can definitely tell you. Now, ah, there was a question I was going to answer. You don't make me forget. Okay, Timo Klaas, you said people are using money to push people away. To Fibaba, that people are using money. Let me even add to fat. I'm sure you all know to fat. If you mention, if you know coded tunes and you know to fat, Labo, try to request knocking her there. Labo, request. Let me try and add to fat. Let me try and add to fat. This app is a then I'm not saying the only thing that gives me inspiration to work. Yes. So fear to which day you don't say too far last. Say too far. Hey fantasy too fat, yo, in the building. Fast fancy. Good to see you. How are you, sir? We're surviving Nigeria. 
It is what it is. Now, <laughs> do you guys know why I brought you back? Because this is the best person that. Hey, how are you? Ah, <laughs> Lola Jackie, you. Lola Jackie, by you. Okay. <laughs> Sexy still. Sexy to bad. Guys, this is the best person that, when I share some story, can actually confirm them. Labo, I'm talking yeah. to people about how many of our budgets, how because of budgets, eh, a lot of our dreams have been cut short. Yes. Yeah, I that agree. People will say, you need big budgets and all of those to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know the story that comes to my mind every time? Guess who? Will. Video will. time. Video. This was a video. Yeah, Nidulo. Eh, hey, Nidulo. <laughs> you know, I've shared that story several to tell people that we ne we didn't have money. There was, was DJ DJT charged us a certain amount of money that we couldn't yeah. afford. Yeah, yeah. But DJT jumped to the idea that we took to him. Yeah. I think where it started from really was the fact that we had. I think anyway, it had always been our story in Kode Tunes in those yes. days that it wasn't about the money for us. Um, it was all about um, creativity. How can we get the best out of the little we had? Yes. Uh, yes. Remind you. When we were when you were setting up the studio at Adita House, yo, what was the first thing we had money to buy in, that we went to the market to buy? Do you remember? I drive. I drive. Me, me, me. I drive. I drive. I drive. Boy. I drive. Me, me. Labo, do you remember that it was a 20 gig hard drive? Bro? 20 yeah. gig hard drive. 4,000 there. I mean, that 4K. Alash, Alash was the person that paid me for 4,000 there. Yeah, and a lot of times, I think when we share these stories, people normally think, Ah, no, they have padded it and all of those. A lot of young guys that are here, sincerely, yeah. whatever you think is holding you, I'm not saying you don't need money, but before you say money. Make sure that you have thought through that particular thing yeah. before you yeah. actually conclude that it is money. It's not a place of money, but um, it, money should not be the major thing driving At whatever, all. especially for people that you do. Money yeah. shouldn't be the first thing that drive it. Because, for example, the Anidio, Anidio video. Did they still love the idea so much? So much. That at the we, end shot of for, Labo, we shot for four days. Four days. days. The, for the video of, for, and he was the one using his money to set two boys to, pay fight. Abelu, to do stuff he was the one because he was excited about the idea. He the, yes, he was so excited about the idea. So, for me, any I, I, I mean, I, I might not be too involved in music like I used to do, but for, for me, where it starts from is that idea. What idea, and you know, the surprising thing you remember when we had dreams of buying Max. Yes, that we are doing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They remind me. Have you forgotten that my first trip to London? Labo. All my, all the money that I made producing people, Molo Grama. That was a big thing. Realize that some of these things that were coming with ease and when you did not expect it. Yes, no. For me, wait. As a creative person, is get your creativity, get get your process right. You'll be yes. surprised what you pick up along the way. What money will just somebody will just like your idea and will be yes. ready to, ready. Be to commit. To you. Ready. you know about this a, a example. Aki today has a hotel in Ikeja, right? Yes. Did Aki start by just building a hotel? You know where oh. it started now. But somebody now believed in the dreams and said, whoa, yeah. I'm going to back this guy. And yes. that's what happened. Do you understand? Mm. So don't, don't start with the mindset of, I need, ah, if I don't have money to push, ah. I mean, remember that a lot of songs that blew from Kodia Tunes, 
was not some radio DJ coming to the studio to pick the unmixed version <laughs> and playing it. Boombastic <laughs> came <laughs> and said, You said it's not was not it's mixed. Not mixed. He said, I don't care. Just give me the song. I'll play it. You know, so it wasn't really about money in that sense. It was that we did things that people liked and people were ready to key in. Yes. You know, that was... And, and I feel that should be the process. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not discounting the place of money. Money is important. Money is key, especially to drive something. Yes. But that should not be the starting point. Mm -hmm. That should not be the starting point. Money will money will drive a lot, but before we go back to that place of uh, let's get money to do it, let's get first. Let's even put down the idea. Yeah, I, put I, the I, idea. I was, I was talking. I was. I was. Okay. I, I was. I was using the order of priority. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Put the order of priority down. That what do we do? You, you remember? We. I went to buy uh, this camera. Seventy. Uh, Seventy. You understand? Because we were looking at, okay, how can we do our stuff ourselves? Before, because yeah. before you start thinking of just taking it outside to go and pay, uh, what is it called? To go and pay somebody yeah. one big money. Why not first check that? Can, I, can we actually do this thing? Exactly. You know the funny Babo. thing is that DJ, DJ T, for example, for the Eduro video, I remember when he went to collect the was it the Sound City Award? Yes, now. I was, he was insisting that I go upstage with him, and I was saying no. Because he was saying that, look, yes, I shot this video, but I know what you guys did. Yeah. You know, to help the process along. Now, I, I guess maybe what helped us was the fact that we didn't start... When we started, it wasn't like we had all the resources. Ah, no, no, In let fact, me tell some of the stories. Wait, let me tell some of the stories now, so that people will know. I was at Akin Ulua, Akin Ulua Leimu, that street. You are Leimu. Nikeja. Ulua Leimu. Ulua Leimu. Labo, do you remember, do you remember when we won't have money that we will trek from that Alem bus stop? Bus stop, yeah. To that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know days that, do you know days that we will not have anything at all? That the only yeah. thing we had was your Atari. Yeah, yeah. And like we still got only, stuff. And we were still <laughs> creating music. We were creating great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so today now, I, I, you know, there is this part of, uh, it has to be big before I yeah. even start. Yeah. And yeah. I've, I've said it countlessly that the only big thing that you start, the only business that you start at the top is when you want to dig your grave. Every your other grave, that's, that's you that's build really from big. ground up. So I guess that helped us. For example, then because we knew we had limited resources, remember yeah. when we used to do Mr. P in Akoka? And we had somebody yes. that we wanted to learn from but was scared of teaching us some things because he thought, mm -hmm. ah, these boys were... You know. The way we so were that going that also... year, that, ah, he did... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody oh, remember oh, this. Oh. <laughs> and I remember this when you now said, okay, our cyber cafe was... Add to you ah, know in those days. Ah, what, I, I, I go to cyber Allah guru and sit down. So I guess because we were so limited with resources available, and but we had the passion and we knew what we wanted. He helped us. Yeah. He helped us. So people might argue the fact that ah, you guys should have been bigger. Yes, maybe. Maybe if we were a bit selfish and decided that we yes. and we got yes. money that the, at least. If we had kept, if we had kept things just to ourselves, maybe, yes. maybe we might have been bigger. Maybe yeah. we might, you know, because I see that a lot in the industry. But for us, because of how we started, it was about what do you have bring to the table? What do you let's have just, bring to the table? Let's do stuff. Sparkle, Sparkle was our head of uh, marketing that time. Sparkle, Sparkle, Sparkle. Oh. Wow. See people, do you understand? Whatever I had, I brought. Whatever you had, you brought. What Ajasa had, you brought. And we everybody brought it to the table. Yes. And generally, just went with it. So it helped us. But nowadays, because I guess because of the way the industry is now, there's a lot of lies in the industry where people believe yeah. that look, yeah. you have to be at a certain level before you can 
I can tell people stories of people I knew that were struggling in the beginning and became big because they believed at the passion they had. You understand the passion they had. Because when you, when you have a passion for something, you go all out to, mm -hmm. to learn what you can do to make that thing successful. Mm -hmm. For example, I was talking about rap that I had to learn everything about it. Learned everything. Yeah. It was like, for me, it was it wasn't the what I was studying in school was second nature. It was yes. the rap that was basically it. So hmm. you know, if you if your passion is really driving you, then you will stay on that thing. You you yes. will follow the process. You will learn what it what you need to do to make it. You you will go and call people that were not your age mate, bros, in the radio station. Yes, man. Some of ah, you did. We still do it too. <laughs> we still do it. You understand? Some of them will say, "Our bros, we are not their mate." Yes, but thank yes. God, yes, we respect us. But we yeah. we go with that because we know. Okay, this guy. Yeah. Some of them did not collect a dime for us to push our stuff. Yeah, to do stuff for us. <laughs> and Labo, okay, I this particular one now. It. This, this is... particular Labo, this particular yeah. one now is something that I try to tell a lot of young artists that look before you even. Yeah. That was why I said, put down your order of priority. There are a lot of things that you can gain, that you can get with relationship. That should not still stop you from spending money. I keep emphasizing that you will still spend money. But yeah. you know that your relationship will make your five loaf of bread eh, to feed 5,000. Kabasha, this thing you just mentioned. The first time we met Kwame was at Star FM. Yes, now. The same time that was Nigizi. Eh? I remember him collecting the CD and saying, ah, if this music is good, I will play it. No, I will no play one. It. So for us, the starting, we had that, be, he helped us at Coder Tunes in that year that first thing we targeted was to make good music. Whatever you say, yeah. we will make good music first. But you realize that some of the relationships, like people like Kwame Den, that we later developed with people like Bombastic, eh? people like that, yeah. like that, that we had. You know, Uche, and all who those, is now all those relationships, forever. all those relationships, they are still they are still there to date. You understand? And these guys will not, it wasn't about money for them. It was about ah, as far as you guys doing stuff, I will, the little yes, we can I will do. Collect it, yeah. we, will, we will do it. Let, let me now, Labo, let me now chip in this. Do you I need to also let people know that those same old relationships was what Olamide built on. Same thing in Rodon. You did. Same, same because thing. Because those same relationship with back some other new guys in those industry that oh, those guys you. passed on to that look when these people come off, oh. attend to them well. Until date, let me say this. I Labo Mobile Mansion now. We won't get into any station to go and form ah, we are Baba. Who is Baba in the industry? I'm I, know Baba in the I will still <laughs> greet you. I will still treat you like you understand that look you are my organ, all of those things. But a lot of artists nowadays, you don't even know how to keep a relationship with yourselves, not to talk of keeping a relationship with other people. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. believe our monies can buy us all of those things. I'm not saying money will not buy you things. So. But let those, let those relationships, let some, there are things that money can buy. They are like because this. Yeah, they are like I agree. This, they will amplify a whole lot of things that you want to. Do. I know this that we will not have shishi. That we will that okay, you are the one that will go to like you to go and meet this DJ. Too fat. You know them at Leading FMO. You go and meet top uh, JJ top uh, Mekadon. You pet uh, Sparkle. You will go to all the TV station, all those uh, yeah. mainland TV station. Go and call all this your. Uh, newspaper guys who we were using them yeah. then yeah. all yeah. of these yeah. things yes i'm not saying that things are still that cool though but a lot of those things are still very useful to date i agree i agree relationship is key relationship is key now, was, this guy was... said this guy uh labo jensari then you know creamy fan talks okay yeah, see you will not you will, you might never get what we are talking about because of where your mind is fixed I noticed that you've kept on saying money, money, money. Did I ever say that you don't need money? But we are telling you that 
AOP that you gave money to that you don't have the relationship with compared to AOP that you give money to that you have the relationship, have the relationship. they will do two different things for you. There are two different things. One will still to... keep playing one will still keep playing your song even yeah. when your money elapsed. The yeah. other yeah. once your money elapsed like this. Oh, In fact, on your own. Let me even say this is what they do. They will call you when they to want to play you. the music. Yes, me. now. That I'll tell you that you play you now. You don't listen. You don't listen. That is not what it is. When you get to a point where a radio DJ is making his playlist and he thinks about you without money being involved, that with the, based on relationship, based on... I'm not saying play work music. A, a lot of guys that we were friends with knew we would never give them anything work. Any bad music so we have confidence of how we can play these people's songs. As far as coming from them. You yeah. understand? But they will think about you even when you don't call them in a while. They will think about you and play your song. I just know some yes. people that play but will meet you tomorrow on their yes, show. No. And it's by tweet. I know that. Babo. <laughs> uh, 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 what is his name? Wale in Yankee called me recently. He was driving. He said he's listening to a Nigerian radio show in America. That they are playing bury me. He now recorded it. Ah, I'm not like Baolo she get it. He said, ah, bros, they play all of those things. So, which is why we, I kept on shouting that look, I'm not saying you don't need money. You need a budget for marketing. But please yeah, make sure that what you are marketing, eh? In fact, the impression you want to market is a marketable impression. So that you don't keep spending money to protect something that will not actually do so much for you. I mean, they do work songs, they spend multi-million naira to shoot a video, and I tell people that, yes, your video is fine. People will play it for a while, but they will get tired of the song eventually, because the standard the of song your even, song... Yeah, the question is, will that song even stick with people? Stick in people's Will head. the song stick? Will it stick? Have you seen Peru, the new Kelong uh, Polukwe? You know that was a viral video. Yeah. He was doing skydiving. He was doing all of those things. They pack all of the videos that they shot yeah. with iPhone inside studio. All of those things, pack them together. And it's because the song is good. People are because making different versions of the song. Stay in one corner. The, the song will push. The song will push itself. But, let me shock some of these guys that are watching. Do you know that your very top artists, they don't spend as much as you spend when they want to shoot videos? Because they have actually become big. Yeah. They can get away, you understand what I'm saying? They can get away with a whole lot of things that you might not be able to get away with. I'm not trying to compare you or do any of those things. They might get away with a lot of things that you can't get away with. But I am saying, the idea is, before you go and commit too much money eh, into money that you cannot make back. That is the reason people don't want to invest in you. The money that you are not going to make back. Before you go and yeah. invest, first sit down. In fact, before you spend, put it down where the money is going to come back from. Yeah. You just think you will do a good song, you will shoot a good video and the money will start coming in. No, that is not how it works. Sit down to know where the money is going to come from. <laughs> there are so many they enter <laughs> oh, this thing is all is big <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying the, all of these things yeah. is not it's not rocket science see I would like yeah. to elaborate do you know that the whole of the industry is actually is scientific in science, we know. Yeah. See, you can predict what will happen in the industry. Yeah. Nowadays, it's very predictable. Absolutely. So I am saying I because it is predictable, you can also beat it. Yeah. That predictability also. is also an advantage to you as a young person to I know agree. how to actually beat it. I agree. I mean, that I tell people. I I I I, I will give a small example here. Originally, Lamide was G Dog, right? Remember, Lamide yes. was G Dog. Lamide was G Dog, so, and he was. 
type battle rapper. I remember very well. They, I think it was what we oh, used him for them, those days was to battle, to battle other that. crew. When we want to battle other crews, it was the we just push the small boy, just take them on. Thank you very much. Was what we used him for. But we knew that that that, that is not the selling point, right? Yeah. Thank God for Lamide. I mean, Lamide is the kind of person you give small things to and it catches it. He takes yes. it to another dimension because he's, yes. he's thinking. He's in always in the, how can I take it to another dimension? Mm -hmm. But initially, we knew that G Dog, we shot the video as G Dog, if you remember. Ah, uh, uh, the way he did, we did, we even did, understand. we did a tribute to their green, I would think that green. Video, yeah, uh, 15,000. 15,000 I'm allowed, no labor. 15,000 <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> ah, oh, no. <laughs> Foster, we don't shoot video before for 15,000 there. Daddy, daddy. Daddy. You know, so. Uh, but what I'm trying to point out, what I'm trying to point out here is the fact that we knew that G-Dog might not be what, yeah. what we sell. G Dog might not actually be what we needed to put into the market at that point. But yeah. on Lamid, transformation from G Dog to Olamide and then the any duo thing was the basis of more everything now. It was first even it was the change of name, almost like a change of personnel, change of thinking from that, people, that change of name God, was just yeah. like me saying oh, more, you know the dog now. See sometimes yes, labo you remember ah this thing go for you it's about to take my task guy was because he said in church that your name is your man as a guy you are not a dog they just call you your normal name and we also had a principle in coded tunes yeah or not yeah. we have a principle of that carrying that your bad thing yeah i wish people can hear the olamide version i tell a lot of rappers that olamide version I tell a lot of rappers that what you don't understand about hip hop, we understood it early. We understood the fact that hip hop was was a subculture, not a full culture. What it means is because hip hop was a subculture, I could bring it into my Yoruba and make it a whole thing. So that's why I just have to rap in Yoruba fully. Do you understand? Yeah. Because yeah. hip hop allows us to do it. Hip hop is not about us spitting in English. Hip hop, what rugged now later championed. Yeah. Oh, you. you realize, remember that Remy, if you are told Remy to rap in Yoruba, Remy oh, needs to ask you Wait, let me tell people who Remy is. Remy is Remy. Oh, is. Remy, oh, Remy, Remy is. Is. <laughs> if, when Remy needs started, if you tell him to rap, to even use the Yoruba word in his oh, rap, no. he will fight. fight. <laughs> no, I love when no, I, I hear you rap. Remy, no, I don't like guys. I like guys. Do that. <laughs> but you know, that's the beauty of what hip hop does. And you know, you can, you know, you talked about that you can predict what the system is. Do you understand? Yes. You can predict what, 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 what the system can bring out, what is going to happen. Because it's an advantage. I tell people that it's an anomaly. It's yes. only in Nigeria you can do it and you can blow. It's only in Nigeria it happens. Yes. Somebody that has not heard his name before releases a track and it blows. It happens only in Nigeria. It's an anomaly, but it's a good anomaly. You understand? Abroad, watch a mixtape. As it is a major good one. You call the artist But in Nigeria, you do a song and you catch fire. So what I tell young people is that Teba if if you are really calm, study the system. What can yeah. I give these people? It's not available. You can do a track and actually blow. That song, but that predictability of the system is the reason why is a good thing for you to be able to do what they don't have. Look at where this, this what the system is missing. You understand what I'm saying? Just look it's at like what, what, the, what is missing in this. Let, let, me, let, me, let me go back to Lamide. Let, let me go back to Lamide. Labo. Then you have to do uh, eight bars chorus, 16 bars rap, do three verses. Wow. Olami yeah. came, he rapped for four minutes. I said, okay, that is what we are going to do. We don't need chorus. He said, but yeah. there should be something. I said, Amele, Amele, Amele was what was in my head right. when we did. I caught yeah. a Niduro that he started yeah. with, and I used yeah. this as part of the beat. And we just did a, a beat that, the type of beat that was running that time. 
And the boy rap. Oh, do you know that Labo Olamide was the first person that rapped for that long ago? Me, Louis, without God yeah. also. Totally indigenous, yeah. Because, and that yeah, was MIA, MIA did something earlier, uh, but MIA is over. Yeah, that he was, was speaking other people's song, that he was doing stuff like that. So, crowd mentality. Crowd for mentality. people. Yeah, crowd, crowd mentality. mentality. Yeah. You understand? But Lamide was fresh. This was a young boy. And then I think DJ T's, the video also helped because the video yeah. interpreted the song. It sung very well. So, so why, when the song got to, Labo. the video took there. The, the actual fee that Lamide used. <laughs> you remember <laughs> when you... Omar Shofi. <laughs> Omar Shofi. The actual fee that he used was my yeah. wedding... Uh, my <laughs> traditional marriage. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Labo, let's see what about JT Labo. No, no, no. Uche, Uche, started uh, packing clothes from his boutique. <laughs> I was guest was on that midday. Yeah, and I look at things today, and I'm trying to tell people that look, don't let a whole lot of these things that you think that you are facing be the reason why you are not doing it. I get to receive a lot of calls from these young guys that ah, Baba wants you. Say I produce you, or I even push you. No, me say you go blow. You have you guys yeah. should listen to that to blow. I mentioned to them that there's also the hand of God, though. Yeah, ah, in that very blowing key. thing, very key. Without very power. key. The uh, day uh, I will, uh, I can't say it online, but the day I will have the opportunity to stay with some young people that will understand the kind of belief that I have, and I tell you the secret that blew nice, that blew Olamide, that blew blew all of us in Kodeti, you will be shocked. This guy where they see so we they fast <laughs> first month in the year. No fast we'll now. Be, you know, we will be gentle. We will we'll just be gentle. All of us. So Olamide, <laughs> all of them. Sorry. We will just be gentle. You'll be looking at us that she and down people could have to but you won't know that at that period we are fasting, we are praying. Yeah, yeah. But we don't just yeah. fast and pray and not do things. We fast, we pray, then we get to work. Yeah. yeah. We fast, we pray, yeah. but we make sure that we get to work. Yeah. We yeah. will fast, we will pray, but we make sure every time Stop we get to work. Fasting is you have to get to work. We, have to we get fast, to work. we pray, and we get to work. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Sincerely, I wish I could help a whole lot of people, but the, the little thing that too far that myself have shared, I have known him since mid do nineties. So with <laughs> some of the things that we are saying, we are not talking from a. Uh, we are just we just made them up. These are things that happen, we've tracked. Labo. We learned from. We learned from. Labo. Okay. Have you forgotten the up. day that we were to go to? Record uh, Praise Brothers. By the way, yes. uh, this guy, David, Clarence. suspect, Clarence suspect. Peter, suspect, were part of that group that we're going to record yeah. them. We signed them on. Yeah. We're going to record them at Ikeja. There was no money. Yeah. We, we're yes, now contemplating Tabe Siri. At the Studio. By the time, you know, Arimosco <laughs> Studio, Studio first time for Ikeja. By the time we got to Arimosco <laughs> Studio, we were tired. <laughs> but we still have to work. We will work. Uh, we would have created our beats from home. The way we work, as in fast, fast. Because we, uh, I wish, I wish I can document all of these things. You know, I, I was remembering when we used to book half a session at, um, what's the studio at um, VFX Unity? Studio. VFX. 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 Was yes, VFX. Yeah. 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 If it no, comes, it's since BFF, what? I think that, come. You always book up a session at night. Once yes, we now. enter, like, after season, ah, now you people the guy will just go and sit down. <laughs> you know, I, I leave this video for <laughs> Shush. Ah, what's I'll that? We don't try you. As <laughs> because we don't get money to pay for two sessions from home, we would have built our beat. <laughs> we know build our beat. Once we enter, the engineer will go and sleep. We will sharp, sharp, upload, finish, 
we will upload everything that we want to upload. As we they upload, we they record. We don't mix. We don't master before money. Master. <laughs> we don't mix. We don't. We don't mix. We don't master. But now somebody will be telling me, "Hey, Baba, like this guy that is one guy here that is talking now." I'm just looking. You won't do anything if you are waiting for a perfect time. Perfect time, yeah. you know. When whatever you want finds to do, do it well now. Don't yeah. wait for that perfect time. Yeah. Don't. Please. The day I discovered that Bible passage in Proverbs, <laughs> no, in actually Ecclesiastics that talked about he that considers the wind will not sow. I swear, love not me that day. That said, he that considers the wind will not sow. We don't sow. That was a mind shift straight that day. I'm telling because you. Because that's the if you are considering the the situation, the boariness of Nigeria, the dollarness of Nigeria, you will not do anything, Baba. You will not do anything. You will not do you anything, not... though. You will not do anything. Second solo then you only. Oh, turn your head. The money before we will gather the money. Do you know how many? Ah, Omo, I'm a scam. The money they will give to me. The money they will give me to eat at home. Eh? Ah, the money we're supposed to use to eat Malo Dasu ah. webs, Malo Dasu uh, Cyber Cafe that year. Okay. Cyber Cafe that they will give you 30 minutes. You'll be yeah. trying to use 30 minutes to download file of 4 megabyte, 4 megabyte, yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> that year. <laughs> 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 oh, best cube oh, that that's the first, best uh, fruity loose one that I use. Yeah. You yeah. can't save. Once you are done like this, you have to render out. You have to render out before you can use it. Save it. <laughs> A lot of people will know all these things. <laughs> Sincerely. And let me tell you guys this. Those things helped us today. Me, today now, I've become so many things because of those days of trying to survive. I can shoot movies. I can, shoot, as in, I've become a videographer. I've become, because we were trying, that was in that day. We we're trying to just survive. So, too fast can produce, he can mix, he can master. He helped us. Those, those periods. Nice. Nice. nice guy record himself. All of us, he helped us. He will record himself. He will even do like a uh, rough mix and all of those things. Those things built us, they helped us. So, today, I'm sincerely, if you are there and you are still sitting, on a long, you are still sitting down on there. So I need this, I need that. That's why I've not done this, I've not done that. My brother, please, I beg you. Eh, oh, ah, we don't blow you, know. Try a bash on sound blaster, not this, uh, sound for sound blaster. Give you, show you sound blaster. That is faster than this. So don't just wait for the perfect thing, don't wait for that perfect time. What the fuck you want find to do now? Go out there and just do it. Stop moving. Don't let the fact that you don't have money in your pocket limit whatever you are planning to do. You will be surprised. Kabasa, I need to run. This is not my life finished. I'll ask her later. Later, even myself, I need to go. So, guys, thanks for joining us.